from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm James Tully, Greg D, timing out some storms for you in the full forecast coming up. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. The defense in the penalty trial, the confessed Parkland school shooter, will now present its case. Jurors must decide whether Nicholas Cruz receives the death sentence or a life sentence without parole. Today, Cruz's attorneys begin laying out their client's life history, including his mental health issues and his alleged sexual abuse by what the defense is calling a trusted peer. Right now, we don't know how long it'll take the defense to present the case, but they say it will last at least past Labor Day. A meeting to talk about two air curtain incinerators in Lutz has been canceled because the company withdrew their application late Friday afternoon. It was only one week ago when neighbors first told us that they were worried this facility planned for the Crystal Lake Road neighborhood would add noise and air pollution to the area. Their uproar caused the project to be killed. Hillsborough County Commissioner Ken Hagen said the board will now review zoning regulations to avoid a similar situation in the future. Construction on Tampa's Southeast Seminole Heights flooding relief project continues. Another closure starts today on North Florida Avenue. That's expected to last about three weeks. We know many drivers use that road during the morning and evening hours, so Pay close attention to the detours. Florida Avenue will be closed from Hillsborough Avenue to Osborne Avenue, except to access businesses, which the mayor encourages people to do to support the local economy during this time. Tomorrow's election day in Florida. Want to make sure that you know exactly what you need to know before casting a ballot. It's a closed primary, so you can only vote for candidates in the party you are registered for. However, independents can vote for school board races and any referendums. You have to show a photo ID with a signature at your polling location. Any of the IDs on your screen are accepted. If you show an ID without a signature, you'll be asked to show a second form of ID that has one. Polls open 7A to 7P. Tomorrow, if you're voting by mail, your ballot must arrive at your Supervisor of Elections office by 7 p.m. on Election Day. A reminder, we have a voter guide on the front page of abcactionnews.com, a full comprehensive look at what you need to take with you to your polling place on Election Day. It's crunch time for the Bucks, who have to make some cuts here. The team needs to trim their roster from 85 to 80 by 4 o'clock tomorrow. They started on Sunday releasing wide receiver Vincent Smith and safety Troy Warner. When it comes to every cut, head coach Todd Bowles says it's not just up to him. He also turns to the assistant coaches, the general manager, and the VP of player personnel. Meanwhile, in Tom Brady news, Greg, he's expected back at practice today. However, still no word on his status for this weekend's preseason game in Indianapolis or why he took off those days. Mm. We may never know. We may never know. Or maybe one day we'll find out. We'll see. Uh, very interesting. Always some drama around town, Brady, keeping it interesting. Temperatures in the low 90s out there this afternoon. Heat index, though, is going to be in the triple digits. That starts around midday and goes through at least the middle of the afternoon. After 5 o'clock, I do expect that heat index to drop back into the 90s. Rain chances, they're there. Not quite as heavy as we saw back on Sunday, but we'll see a couple of pop-ups after the lunch hour, maybe a mid-afternoon break. And then this evening, anything that develops east of Tampa could roll back towards the bay so say p tampa riverview back over towards bradenton you can see some heavier downpours there we'll keep things uh keep track of things throughout the day and if there are any watches or warnings issued for those storms you'll get a push alert through the abc action news app james uh, stay cool this afternoon this feels like temperatures are no joke get all your news 24 7 right here on abc action news plus